Yeah, it was uh, it was a strange game. Uh, obviously, we got a, we had a good start. You know, Paz draws the penalty right away, and then we you know give up the shorthanded goal, score right away. Um, you know, get get the three one lead. But uh, I thought the whole it was really it was a loose period. Um, you know, they they found a way to get back in it. They were give them credit. They were desperate tonight and and uh, competed extremely hard. I thought they competed really hard last night too, actually, and. Um, I think we just, I don't think anyone in that room, Very, there's only a few guys who would, would be pleased or satisfied with their play. Um, but we did find a way to win, and a uh, great individual effort by Nielsen um, for the winner there. And uh, we, we did enough. Some games are going to be like that. Not every game needs to be a beautiful painting. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll take the points. Nielsen's looked pretty solid since returning from injury and big goal tonight. What does that say about uh, your trust in him putting him out on the ice there and obviously him getting that goal late in the period when somebody needed to step up? Yeah, well, I mean, we had a short bench. Uh, we were down to nine forwards at one point. We had 4D at one point. We're losing players left and right. So uh, we needed guys to, to play. And, um, you know, as you said, it was, it was a big goal. He's been, he's been really good for us this year. Um, tonight was probably his poorest game, but yet he comes through with uh, a huge goal for the team, and that's that's what guys like him do. You know, with the guys that have his skill set, that's what they do. A wild first period with the six goals shared and all the teddy bears and everything as well. What was the message to the team in that locker room after conceding those two goals to bring it back to even even a score line? Well, we wanted to reset. Uh, because you know we believe in our team and, and we feel that when we play our game we're extremely difficult to play against and uh, that would you know assure we would get the result not sure we did that but uh, you know I, again it's things we can learn from I probably won't spend a ton of time on that game because uh, I don't think that was it's not really us we've had a lot of practice time a lot of a lot of video um, probably just leave that game in the past and get ready for next weekend. What do you think of uh, Lowen today? He hasn't been in the lineup a lot of times this year, but I thought he, he looked pretty effective. Is that the formula he needs to stay in the lineup? Yeah, that was his best game. No question. Uh, thought he was physical. Obviously, he's involved in, in the one goal there, which was great to see. But I thought he got pucks in. He finished his checks. Uh, he was solid away from the puck. And so that's nice to see because we'd love to add a little bit of size and edge to our group, um, so hopefully he can build on it. What's the status of Sassen, Max Sassen? Yeah, he's out, um, concussion, yeah. and oh, uh, yeah, so we, uh, yeah, we've had a few, and uh, like, you know, I think, we think it happened in practice, it's just, uh, yeah, it's kind of one of those years right now. Just bad luck kind of. Yeah, it is, and uh, again, we lost a bunch of guys tonight, I'm not sure what the, who were the Tally that, will be. Who were the forwards that you lost? I mean, like Hirose, I saw. Yeah, yeah we had yeah. different guys leaving yeah. the bench back and forth, coming yeah. back, yeah. you know. So we'll yeah. uh, we'll take stock and see how it looks at the end of next week.